What's up everyone? This is Ryan here. Uh, so just wanted to cover ETC come uh, ETC, Pascal and Gollum. You know, uh, I think I made those calls uh, in my previous video. Sorry, I've been pretty lazy. I uh, wasn't doing as many videos as I should because I was really busy, uh, you know, creating uh, my site. Uh, you know, uh, my site will allow everyone to be able to advertise come earn on BTC on a on a daily basis as long as you view those advertisings within the platform. Okay, so just to cover a little bit about uh, the trades or uh, the trades that I've been making the past uh, two weeks. So firstly, I want to talk about ETC, ETC uh, dollar, okay, and or ETC BTC, whichever is, uh, you know, whichever is your, your favorite, uh, you know, take profit currency. Um, I'm, I find it easier to just uh, discuss it in uh, dollar dollar terms for now because uh, I actually entered uh, uh, ETC when it was about 170. So um, I made a call on my Facebook uh, where I said that ETC is showing a lot of promise in terms of its developments this year. And you know, in terms of uh, finding their, a new development team, which I think uh, was incorporated last late last year, and then they gradually onboarded the team uh, all the way until uh, I think beginning of this year. So I think now uh, Charles Ho Ho uh, Hawkinson has the full team at the moment. Uh, we would like to say I would like to say that um, now if you're looking at ETC. Um, it is still in the uptrend as you can see from this channel. It's not the, the best channel uh, that I would say. It's not like perfect where you see, oh, you know, the, bot the bottoms really stay in the channel. But nonetheless, it is still an uptrend. Uh, I'm, I'm anticipating, you know, further upside from ETC as they gradually fork away from Ethereum. As, as we all know, Ethereum at the moment has been pretty much uh, on the downside with a lot of sell pressure. You're looking at, uh, and I also, and I also made the call on uh, uh, Ethereum. Uh, I, I sold all my Ethereum, guys. As much as I really liked Ethereum, and I was uh, holding Ethereum and making very very strong buy calls at around the uh, uh, nine dollars, ten dollars, eleven dollars, even up to I think thirteen dollars. I was still pushing it, and those who actually bought in at that period, which was. Um, if I remember correctly, it was February, and that was when the run-up came, right? And it came so fast and so quickly, I was shocked myself because people who came in or people who listened to me at around the, the, the $10, $11, $12 region, right, are still very, very, very much in the money, even though Ethereum has uh, come down quite uh, a bit, right? So let's look at the Ethereum charts. Let's just take a look at the Ethereum charts. Okay, so ETH, ETH, uh, ETH USD. Okay, so so as you can see, ETH USD. Uh, wait, let me stretch the the charts a little bit more. Let's go to three months. So, yeah, um, I I really was making I I no joke, guys. Okay, I have been holding Ethereum ever since like last year, right? So when the DAO attacked, um, it was fine. I still held on to it. I even bought in more, and um, I, I bought I bought quite a bit. Okay, so whatever it is, just whatever I'm talking about in my videos, always remember that I'm always vested in it, and I would not recommend something that I've not bought before. Um, I will talk about uh, other other cryptos that are uh, that pique my interest, but. If I don't say that I'm, I'm invested in it, I, I, I just assume that I, I didn't invest in it. But usually I am. So Ethereum, right? I sold off at around anywhere from 53 to 50 bucks to 48 bucks. All right. And you can see this run up and now you're having this correction. Now, I like to see this correction because it is very much due. Um, I, I want to see more of that in other cryptos because it doesn't make sense for you know, for us to be purchasing at the highs around here. I, I, I see that 35 bucks Ethereum is not insane at all, okay? So those who bought at a high, you probably be hating me, but guys, anything that has such a parabolic spike, right, in such a short span of time, you look, just look at when it happened, okay? So 
let's assume okay this is first of March and the whole run up was the whole of March right so 25th of March so first of March all the way until literally uh, 24th of March and you know it's starting to, to come and come down I want to see some consolidation okay so if you guys are planning to purchase um, ethereum the first support level that I'm looking at okay let's let's just uh, let's just let's just make it uh, one month okay the first support level I'm looking at okay so uh, I'm looking at first support level is uh, 40 I'm looking at the this range okay I'm, I'm personally looking at this range 42 okay there, there seems to be as you can see there's a bounce here so you see it, it's because everything was consolidated all the action all the consolidation previously prior to to where this range of the $42 range is all happening uh, here all right at 42 33 or so okay then of course you have a certain sell down days and even days where it hit uh, 38 so my next so if this $42 level breaks right the next level I'm looking at is basically 38.80 or you know 38 dollars if I'm lucky okay I, I don't mind going back in at that price I really don't so that is my my uh, my entry point again for ethereum dollar okay now uh, for ETC okay ETC uh, ETH now this is a interesting pair right because you can see that they are cl it's clearly breaking away okay it's clearly breaking away ETC is starting to really strengthen and ethereum is starting to uh, of course uh, hopefully after the selling is done it consolidates somewhere favorable for everyone to re-enter again um btc i'm currently avoiding why not because i don't want to go back into uh, a btc but i want to make sure that once the hard fork uh, is determined you know everyone has uh, onboarded and all the all the issues with segwit come scalability issues are over i'll go back into btc okay i'm not going to gamble on it um it, I, I would say ethereum has more or less sorted their 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 crap out uh because they had the DAO attack uh prior to that so i am sticking to taking my profits in ethereum so that is my play so I am going to be talking more on uh, on uh, Ethereum based or ERC twenty tokens more uh, my in my next few videos rather than BTC two whatever. Although I like Pascal because Pascal has a lot of it is very range bound. It's nice to to day trade Pascal. If you ask me, I, I made quite a bit of money on Pascal range. So let's let's take a look at uh, at Pascal. So oh wait before we go there, uh, yes uh, ETC ETH. So as you can see. Uh, for, for for now, right? It has already uh, it has already passed the resistance level, the initial resistance level of zero point five eight ninety, and has been climbing up further. Okay, it's been climbing up further. I'm pretty happy to see that. So the next high that I'm I'm looking for it to break past was uh, is basically the six one range, which it did, but of course it didn't it didn't close above the six one range, and that was when um you know btc started to to uh, actually uh, retrace a little bit from the one one thousand one hundred and uh, eighty ninety dollar range and uh it's uh it's great sorry not what not one thousand one one thousand one hundred and nineteen or one thousand one hundred sorry that was yesterday right so what am i talking about e btc dollar um okay let's check it out BTC dollar, oh yes, 1,190, yeah, okay, 1,190, 1,180 range, sorry about that, okay, so that was when it started to retrace back and then BTC um, gave back a little bit of ground to, to hover around the 1,100 and uh, 40 to 50 dollar range, right, that seems to be a psychological barrier and no one wants to really buy up uh, past that, so you're seeing a lot of flow from BTC still to the other altcoins, and uh you know the king will come back eventually okay i'm very very certain of that okay but for now i'm i'm sticking away staying away from btc so if you look at the, the charts now right okay you're looking for the fact that if you're talking about etc B, e, uh, eth eth uh, etc right i want to take start taking i would like to take profit 
I'm a little bit greedy. I'm going long on this. Okay, so it's not going to be a day trade. Um, I'm just going to stick around because I clearly came in at um, the... I came in around the $45 region. So 0.45 region, I was already in uh, because, because I'm holding quite a bit of ETC. And yeah, so I'm, I'm sticking the playthrough, guys, uh, because I know for a fact that, okay, when we look at, uh, let's go to coin market cap. Okay, uh, everything ties in, right? Everything ties in to, to my thoughts about where I see this going. Okay, so Ethereum, right, is at 4 billion as of now at uh, last you know price based on coin uh, coin market cap is 44 bucks now ethereum classic has been on it around the seventh spot for the longest time all right and they have changed their monetary policy uh, unlike uh, ethereum where ethereum is planning to uh, uh, you know just have an unlimited supply of uh, ethereum now ethereum classic on the other hand they are going to have a limited supply uh, at 2017, uh, 2070, they're going to have about 220 million uh, ETC in circulation. Now, when I watch some of the videos, right, they are planning to allow Ethereum to go and run proof of stake first. I think that's Casper. So once they run proof of stake first and see how it pans out, then they'll they'll see what is the best monetary policy for Ethereum Classic. But for now, uh, I want to take a long bet and anticipate that a 500 million to 800 million market cap is not too far-fetched. So when I say this, um, I've been pretty accurate with my previous predictions. If you look at all my other previous videos, when I talked about Gollum, Gollum went up. When I talked about uh, Ethereum, Ethereum was, was there. I mean, look, guys, the whole market is very favor favorable for cryptocurrency trading at this current juncture as long as you don't you know, move around to all the shit coins. Okay, there are a lot of shit coins out there because, like I said, this, okay, I've not said this before, but I believe that a lot of scam coins will appear because as long as you, you, you want to capitalize on uh, people who are new, they don't really read in depth to the different cryptocurrencies that are out there, and it gets people excited because the returns are pretty crazy on a daily basis. You know, you're having coins being pumped up and you're having 100% returns. Like Ripple in the past few days was insane. Okay, Ripple uh, really jumped position from, I don't know man, Ripple, I, I didn't really take note of it and I definitely didn't have enough, uh, uh, I, I wasn't invested in it definitely, but I did mention it to some of my, my friends. And, you know, some got in and they literally made 300% uh, on Ripple, okay? So, I missed it completely because, you know, I, I, I don't look at it. I, I didn't look at it. Not that I wasn't interested in it, it's just that the volume just came very, very suddenly. But, of course, naturally, it has uh, really tapered back down. I remember seeing it at zero, I think it was 900,000 Satoshis. Was it there? Wait, let me let me just take a look. Usually, I, I get the, the Satoshis a little bit off. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so, so, so I would say that it was at a crazy high of... Um, it was a crazy high of... Yeah, it was a crazy high of 9,000 9, Satoshis, if I remembered it correctly. 9,000 plus Satoshis. And of course, it came up from... I don't know, man. I, I can't really remember the low. So it was really, really low. And then after that, it just shot up like crazy. So that being said, you know, you can't, have, you can't be invested in everything. Pick your battles, you know, especially if you're very, very new to cryptocurrency trading. Pick your battles and read up, at least bother to read up about the coin. You know, before you actually put your money in. Even though you're investing a small amount or a big amount, always bother to read up. Don't just listen to just, uh, you know, my videos or, uh, you know, like another, another, uh, uh, another, a, a few other guys that I can recommend is like Cryptocurrency Markets, uh, which is Taizen and LeonFu.com. You know, they give really good, uh, good advice and uh, analytics. You should follow them. And, 
I would say that I learned quite a bit from uh, Taizen and uh, LeonFu.com because LeonFu gives very, very strong analysis uh, from a development perspective because I think he's a, he's a programmer, come develop, he's a developer, I think, or a programmer. Then um, uh, Taizen is an investor, right? So he gives the technical breakdown on the, the, the volumes and the, the, the technical analysis on uh, the various cryptocurrency pairings. So I'm learning a lot from them. Then there's also, uh, you know, uh, from the mining perspective where Mr. Yu Con C, uh, Dave Seaman, you know, these people, you know, I, I follow them quite quite a bit. So, you know, check them out. They I will put a link to their channels uh, below and from then you can check them out as well. Okay, so now, like I said, back to my place. Okay, sorry to, to di digress. So, looking at um, Ethereum Classic, right, I am planning to honestly be a little bit greedy and I'm looking at the $75, uh, 700, uh, 7, 7 million, 7 million, 7 7.5 million Satoshi range guys. That's where I'm headed. Okay. I'm headed for, for the fact that Ethereum Classic is long overdue. It should, it's, it's, I, I don't know how long. Okay. I don't have a time frame for you. Okay. But if, if you want to stay invested, this is the time to stay invested in ETC, guys, because it is just a cheaper alternative to Ethereum, and it is the original Ethereum if you think about it. Okay, if you think about it, they are remaining immutable, while Ethereum, on the other hand, uh, decided to reverse, you know, whatever that happened during the DAO, and for a fact that, you know, as a decentralized currency, or at least a decentralized platform, well, we should not be having that kind of uh, too big to fail kind of mentality, right? If there's a too big to fail, that means you know that you're subjected to influence from your your investors. Like, you know, just because an inve a large investor lost money, oh, you bend over and you reverse everything and, you know, you, you don't want to resolve it from there, okay? Like Bitcoin, on the other hand, no one really at the moment really controls it. It's just the community fighting and buying for what it should do going forward. But I guess Ethereum Foundation looks towards the enterprise side and enterprises always love control, okay? You can't be putting in money and expecting that, oh, you know, people who are not on the board are having control or the say or the direction because I put in my millions, my billions into this I want to see, I want to have some say and I'm not going to let like some kind of mining, you know, master node or, you know, voters to swing my vote. I want to have control. So I see Ethereum going that direction. I'm not saying it's a, it's a good or bad thing, but I'm just saying that at the end of the day, if you're talking about decentralized, you want to allow the community to decide or actual, uh, uh, you know, anyone who has a stake uh, as a miner through, if you're still on proof of work, or if proof of stake is being implemented, like how Dash implemented master nodes, and then you saw Dash, oh yeah, I didn't even talk about Dash, man. That is a whole new episode. But I'll cover a little bit about Dash or what I think about it in, a, in another episode. So that being said, I think that Ethereum, uh, you know, is going to have to sell down a little bit more before I feel that it's of value. Like I said, $38 or the $42 uh, region would be pretty nice to re-enter again. I am, like I said, sticking my guns to Ethereum Classic and I'm going to sit this play out for the whole year, honestly, because I see that it is long overdue and this year will be the year that Ethereum Classic is probably going to 3x, 4x, even 5x. So this is my thoughts, okay? You don't have to take my, my word for it, but this is my play for now. Now, we talk about the smaller plays. Uh, let's talk about Gollum. Okay, so Gollum, let's talk about Gollum, B, uh, Gollum BTC. So as you can see, Gollum, uh, you know, was, uh, yeah, I, I was trading Gollum at around this range. Okay, the, the whole of, uh, actually here and, and here as well. Okay, so as you can see, Gollum has this range bound kind of play. So Gollum is another one that I, I, I look uh, at uh, because it is uh, it, built on the Ethereum uh, platform and it is the the story behind it is shared computing power right where you can rent your your computing power at the same time also you can um, 
you 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 shared the your shared computing power and also you you are able to (uh) li~ you are able to literally (um) you know rent that space as well or buy that s~ buy that computing space or computing power from other people on the network and I think the I need to read up on it so don't quote me on that the re~ the reward will be (uh) G_N_T tokens so I think it, they pay each other on G_N_T and you transact in G_N_T. And then from then after that, you know, of course, when you make money on it for for renting, for renting your computing power or your 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 storage space, um, you can of course exchange that GNT to BTC, or or change your GNT to Ethereum on the exchanges and you know monetize it right because at the moment GNT is not uh, or Gollum is not like you can change it to US dollars. It's not recognized that way yet. So yeah, I'm I'm looking look I'm still looking at uh, GNT. Um, I'm look I obviously as uh, consolidated from the high, uh, as as uh, we see there was a crazy spike. Okay, guys, I bought in at this was the trade where I saw one of those Fridays. Yes, here is it. Here it is. Right, here's the one. Let me let me let me just zoom in. Okay, so this was the play right here. Okay, can you see that? It went up to a high of twenty thousand satoshis. So I went, I bought at six thousand five hundred and fifty satoshis, and I decided to sell off at around the seven thousand uh six hundred and fifty satoshis. I wasn't expecting like anything, you know, spectacular. And when I keyed in the order, there was this like crazy spike up to twenty thousand satoshis. I was like, what? I could have like immediately three x, but no, no one in their right mind would have queued at twenty thousand satoshis for Gollum, right? And that was what happened, and it went crazy for that day. It went up to a high of nine thousand, and then you know it sl- slowly tapered off. And as you can see, well, this is where it is right now. Okay, so yeah, so I'm I'm still looking at uh Gollum. Now, uh, any other w- worthy mentions? I would say that uh, I would very much like to look at Pascal again, but BTC is just not favorable for me to enter this trade. As you can see, Pascal, same thing, you know, same same crazy spike, right? Uh, I was trading Pascal around this region. If you're asking me, I was trading around the 24, 23 to uh, 23 uh, the 23,000 satoshis, 24,000 satoshis, and then I will always take profit around 26, 27,000 satoshis, and then you have this crazy spike, right? Boom! I think this was when uh, BTC also uh, went down, but at the same time there was some news on Pascal. I, I'm not sure what happened, and then you have this crazy spike as well, crazy as well. Okay. So yeah, I'm looking at it again. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, tapered off the, the crazy highs and you know consolidating around here. So you have this range, guys. You can have fun uh, around the 25 region to the 28 region. Okay, 25 to 28,000 region. Okay, this is this is uh, what I'm looking at. Um, other things like uh, yeah, I'm going long on ETC as I mentioned. That will be my power play. Um, fun funsies for the funsies will be G- uh, Gollum and uh, Pascal. Oh, wait, my last one, my last one, Augur. Wow, that Augur was my uh, was a brilliant was a brilliant uh, play, man. Wait, rep, rep, rep BTC. Yep, rep BTC was uh, was a brilliant play as well. Um, as you can see, there was a crazy high of uh, all the way. Wait, let me do dollar. Let's let's do uh, auger dollar first. Two weeks ago, I said that six bucks was a great price to enter auger. Okay, look at my previous videos on let's talk crypto, buy, sell, or hold. I can't remember exactly what the title. I always put random titles in my videos. Um, yeah, so let's pull it back. Um, I mentioned six bucks. Yeah, no joke. Just just go back and take a look. I was talking about it. The charts were around here. Okay, and then you have this crazy sudden spike, right? That pushed Augur all the way to uh, you know, the crazy highs of let me see what was the high for this. Wow, that's that's pretty insane. Uh, yeah, the high was fourteen bucks, right? So it went all the way to fourteen bucks, and then after this started to tone down. But you know, Augur is on an uptrend, guys. If you look at it, Augur is on the uptrend. So. 
Um, considering, I would consider re-entering if it hits the $8, $9 region, I'm in. Okay, without a doubt, I'm in. Uh, this is, okay, why am I in Augur? Firstly, it's prediction markets. Futures in futures on a decentralized uh, uh, way, right? Because you're looking at uh, the next uh, kind of prediction market uh, uh, platform. And, you know, having speculation and investment is very important. I see this project to be pretty big. And once again, it's on the Ethereum network. <laughs> so, I am looking at Augur, Gollum, Pascal. Pascal is for the fun day trade, uh, day trade and everything. And uh, go small on that. Okay, I, I wouldn't go big on that. But of course, if you have high risk appetite, that's pretty good too. But I would say... Short to medium term, I'm looking at uh, Gollum, okay? And medium to long term would be Augur. And last but not least would be my ETC Ethereum play, okay? The long, the long strong 5x, 10x play. That would be my play, okay? So that being said, uh, that concludes my video, guys. Uh, you know, I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching this. And also, if you are interested uh, on, uh, you know, not trading, but you just want to earn BTC passively, I have a platform that I would strongly like to recommend, which is uh, Capital Crypto Alliance. All right, the founders uh, or owners are trading in cryptocurrencies. Okay, so 1.5% is something that you earn daily, okay, on your crypto. They pay Mondays to Fridays. Okay, so they do trading, arbitrage and lending. And um, yeah, so far they've been uh, they've been paying out pretty pretty awesome, pretty uh, pretty consistently, and yeah, I'll put a link to uh, uh, my my link to uh, the description below, and you can join and come in at uh, whatever price. A uh, minimum is twenty bucks, guys, and it's one point five percent daily. There is a ninety day uh, lock in period with penalties uh, if you decide to withdraw early. But stay in for the 90 days, guys, because trading is something that you want to be, uh, you want to be committed, right? So allow these guys to do the trading for you. And then from then, uh, you know, days online, they've been around for 24 days. So they've been paying out, been pretty happy, been making uh, a BTC, 1.5% uh, uh, BTC on it. Uh, you know, you don't have to do any trading. They do everything for you. Um, like I said, it's still high risk, right? Because it's BTC. Um, and it's trading so you know don't forget that always invest with money it goes for anything guys it, always invest with money that you can afford to lose okay so with that being said um, links to my description below if you felt that this video helped you out uh, and, and, and you know you made some good calls or you entered because of my recommendations you know uh, always let me know you know I want to be making more videos so that I can contribute back because I've been having a very, very good run on cryptos. I want to just be able to help everybody, you know, build a portfolio of cryptocurrencies as well. And, you know, eventually, who knows where it might lead. Um, and uh, I would like to, you know, allow you all to have some life-changing income. So, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.